Hey guys, it's from the Paleo Dude, and I'm back with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mattel Parasaurolophus compared to the original Kenner and the um, Animal Planet version as well. Um, I've always wanted to do a video like this, but I never actually had a chance to get my hands on the uh, the Animal Planet version, which is very cool to me. Um, the company that made this one is Chap May. They do a lot of this style, early 2000s, kind of JP3 vibes, uh, dinosaur figures. And they're a big part of early 2000s people's childhood. Um, I know now the, uh, the company doesn't make the same quality figures as it did in the past, um, which kind of sucks, but... Regardless, the original figures from these lineup or these line lineups are pretty uh pretty spot on for uh, JP3 styling when it comes to like the designs and the size and the posability and the scale. Um, and of course, nothing compares to the Mattel or Hasbro version of the Parasaurolophus in all of its glory. Um, let's take a look at the bottom. Is there any here we go yeah so there's there's the information we've got Hasbro 1997 para I'm sure the uh, voice box works I just haven't um, swapped out the batteries I might do it in my other para as well and we just yeeted the uh, the Kenner baby this one's definitely Kenner 1994 uh, the wave 2 um, this one would come with Tim and a little little cage, but you can see it still sports that white color, but instead of the lines down its back, it has these kind of greenish brown stripes and this cherry red um, highlight on the crest and the head. Um, its tail is quite short, and it's in like a kangaroo-like stance, but that's pretty iconic for this figure. Um, I enjoy that. And then obviously the Mattel ones, um, we're going to look at specifically the Dino Rivals Parasaurolophus. Um, it's got the bumpy sort of <laughs> postules on the back. Um, I don't know what they were thinking with this texture design, but for some reason it just it doesn't fit well with the Parasaurolophus, I don't know, it just looks like it's got like toad skin down the back, whereas you can see that ridge is very nice and smooth and um, the pattern continues with the lines. It doesn't look abnormal with the weird bumps. And uh, the newer version also sports those bumps as well, but they're a bit tame, they seem to be dulled down a bit. Um, yeah. Um, so the head attack for the Mattel one, you just press the button and the head bops down. Surprisingly, the um, Chat May one has the same action feature. Usually, what they have is you pull the arm and the head goes down, but I'm enjoying the button back there. It makes it a little bit easier than pulling the arm because a lot of the Chat May dinosaurs have um, thin plastic pieces in the arms that um, actually make the mechanism work and those have a tendency of breaking over the years um, but luckily this one just has the button and a little bit more of a simple process to make the head go forward though it doesn't go too far forward I would like it if it went all the way down but it's just a little bit of action whatever I do enjoy the fact that the mouth is open on this figure in like a screaming position so like, well not screaming, it would have like honked or whatever, but um, that's pretty cool. It's got its front leg raised, um, kind of like it's reacting to some sort of danger. And then the tail is kind of curved. Um, it's got a pretty short tail, actually. And the range of motion in the legs, you can make it stand up a bit. But that's kind of it. <laughs> you can make it kind of lie down, I guess. Um, and then these joints are kind of loose. And there's no paint on the nails, whereas you see the Lost World Para has paint on the nails. 
Um, these ones only have paint on the toenails. Actually, wait, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, there's no paint on the Camp Cretaceous one. Great, okay. Well, I do, uh, like, the patterning on this one. Again, it gives me a Jurassic Park 3 vibe with the green color. Um, I wonder if that's what they based it off of. Probably. <laughs> um, and then you can see the... Uh, Mattel one has more of a messy um, line going down the back, whereas the um, the Lost World one has this beautiful straight line. It's like no mistakes. This is flawless. The uh, the scale of or the proportion of the tail, the body, the head, everything about this figure is perfect. And I do love the running action feature instead of a head attack has this little little running feature which is nice um, and the arms can move forward too. One goes a little bit further than the other and I, the head turns too which is kind of cute. I like that and it's got a nice like red coloration on the back of the head and some nice colors on the um, crest as well. So nothing can beat this figure. And I'd think a close second would be the uh, the Mattel one, just because of the nice action features and the greater uh, range of posability compared to the Animal Planet one, for sure. Um, I guess we can look at the the pair in the back. So it's chonky, it's very chonky, and the tail you move it. <laughs> You can see, uh, well, I guess you can hear, it doesn't really have para sound effects, which, which sucks. Um, and the four limbs on this guy are the same as the original. It's got the one kind of front limb up, kind of like the Chat May one. And uh, the bumps are a little bit reduced, not too much. Same with the tail. Um, and yeah, the body is just seemingly wider, I guess. And it's a heavier figure thanks to the um, the mechanical features in it, like the noise box and whatnot. There we go. Um, so I'd probably put that um, after this one. And then I guess the baby... I would say the baby is better than... Hmm. Oh, it's tough, because like, the baby lacks detail and proportion. Maybe the Mattel one's better than the the baby, something like that. I don't know. So I'd have the Lost World coming in first, second, third, fourth, and then fifth uh, for para ranking. So yeah, no, there there we have it. We uh, all of the uh, the scaled paras for uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and Animal Planet. I'm not sure if they made a recolor of this para down the line. I think this is the first edition version, the, the first release. Um, but I've always wanted it, that's for sure. So I'm glad I finally have it. And I might try some photography with it down the road. Being like, I guess, a Lost World para or something. But anyways, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh... If you did, make sure to check out my other content, which I'll feature here at the end of the video. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.